Reliance's wildlife experts were called in to review health monitoring protocols at Kuno National Park after three cheetahs died last year, official records show. In May 2023, the National Tiger Conservation Authority, or NTCA, requested a team from Reliance's Greens Zoological Rescue and Rehabilitation Center, or GZRRC, in Gujarat to visit Kuno. This followed the death of three cheetahs between March 27 and May 9, part of the Project Cheetah Reintroduction System. Project Cheetah is the world's first intercontinental translocation of a wild, large carnivore. A total of 20 cheetahs were brought to Kuno from Namibia and South Africa between September 2022 and February 2023. Since then, 8 cheetahs have died, though 12 cubs out of 17 born and have survived. Reliance's Wildlife Facility Director Brij Kishore Gupta confirmed that his team visited Kuno on May 25-26. to The team found that the health protocols in place were appropriate. While the facility specializes in managing cheetahs in captivity, Gupta emphasizes the difference between captive management and rewilding. The involvement of Reliance's wildlife facility has sparked questions from the wildlife activists, including Ajay Dubey, who criticized the secrecy around the matter. He pointed out that there was no mention of Reliance's involvement in the annual report or the minutes of the Cheetah Project Monitoring Committee meetings. NTCA maintains that the health and safety protocols are being followed with four dedicated veterinarians at Kuno. Additionally, veterinary support from South Africa and Namibia countries, including experts such as Adrian Tordiff and Mike Toft. The project remains ongoing with 24 cheetahs, including cubs currently housed at Kuno National Park.